Well, hello there. Welcome to my channel. This is the unintentional ASMR book club. If you're new here, welcome. You're just in time for the bedtime stories. Tonight's book is called A Wizard of Earth Sea. It's from the Earth Sea Cycle series book number one. This is the second reading of this book. So, let's begin. Come with me. She said to Dooney. She took him into her hut where she lived alone. She let no child enter there usually, and the children feared the place. It was low and dusky, windowless, fragrant with herbs that hung, drying from the crossbow on the roof. Mint and molly and thyme, yarrow and rush wash and paramel, king's foil, cloven foot, tansy and bay. There his aunt sat cross-legged by the fire pit, and looking sidelong at the boy through the tangles of her black hair, she asked him what he had said to the goats, and if he knew what the rhyme was. When she found that he knew nothing, and yet had spellbound the goats to come to him and follow him, then she saw that he must have in him the makings of power. As her sister's son, he had been nothing to her, but now she looked at him with a new eye. She praised him and told him she might teach him rhymes he would like better, such as the word that makes a snail look out of his shell, or the name that calls a falcon down from the sky. Aye, teach me that name, he said, being clear over the fright the goats had given him, and puffed up with her praise of his cleverness. The witch said, to him, you will not ever tell that word to the other children if I teach it to you, I promise. She smiled at his ready ignorance, well and good, but I will bind your promise. Your tongue will be stilled until I choose to unbind it, and even then Though you can speak, you will not be able to speak the word I teach you, where another person can hear it. We must keep the secrets of our craft. Good, said the boy, for he, for he had no wish to tell the secret to his playmates, liking to know and do what they knew not and could not. He sat still while his aunt bound back her uncombed hair and knotted the belt of her dress, and again sat cross-legged, throwing handfuls of leaves into the fire pit, so that a smoke spread and filled the darkness of the hut. She began to sing, her voice changed sometimes to low or high, as if another voice sang through her, and the singing went on and on until the boy did not know if he waked or slept. And all the while the witch's old black dog, that never barked, sat by him with eyes red from the smoke. Then the witch spoke to Dooney in a tongue he did not understand, and made him say with her certain rhymes and words, until the enchantment came on him and held him still. Speak, she said to test the spell. The boy could not speak, but he laughed. Then his aunt was a little afraid of his strength, for this was as strong a spell as she knew how to weave. 
She had tried not only to gain control of his speech and silence, but to bind him at the same time to her service in the craft of sorcery. Yet even as the spell bound him, he had laughed. She said nothing. She threw clear water on the fire till the smoke cleared away and gave the boy water to drink. And when the air was clear and he could speak again, she taught him the true name of the falcon to which the falcon was come. This was Duny's first step on the way he was to follow all his life the way of majory, the way that led him at last to hunt a shadow over land and sea to the lightless coast of death's kingdom. But in those first steps along the way, it seemed a broad, bright road. All right, so that was the reading of a wizard of earth sea that was part two a continuation of the first reading which i've done if you like this reading do give it a like on youtube and if you think you would like someone else to hear this and someone else might enjoy share it click on the share button also don't forget to subscribe yeah and i wish you well have a great day, have a great night, and I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.